Hello again, YouTube Uh This is a video I'm making. Um, everything about the video is already in the description. It is 12.55 in the morning, and I'm really tired, so I'll try to make this quick. Alright, pretty much what I'm about to tell you how to do, what it does, um, it does a couple things. The first one is it formats your file system from RFS to EXT4. RFS is the stack proprietary file system that Samsung devices have because Samsung likes to be like that and likes to make things like that. Um, it's slow, it's poorly written, it's not really cool, and it makes the epic not that epic. It's still epic, but not that epic. EXT4 is the file system used by Linux, and it's a lot more efficient than RFS. Um, it makes everything a lot faster and smoother, and you'll notice an immediate difference as soon as you do it how fast and responsive your phone is. Crazy. Um, this is also going to permanently root your phone. You're not going to have to do this over and over again. You do it one time, and it's done forever, unless you want to restore it back to stock. You can restore it back to stock, but what's the point? I mean, if you're, like, re um, uh, warrantying your phone, then you have to do it back to stock, but I'll make another video on that eventually. Um, uh, what else does this do? This installs a custom ROM as well. Um, in order for this to work, you need to have either EB13, um, and you have to you have to have Android 2.2. If you don't have 2.2 yet on your Epic, then I don't know which problem is because it got automatically pushed to all the Galaxy S devices by now. Um, they pushed uh, EB13. Well, first they pushed DK28, I believe, and that was garbage, and they recalled it. And then they did EB13, and now EC05 is the newest one. Um, yep, so you need to have that. Um, Alright, if you already have that on your phone, you're going to need a couple things. And I'm not going to put a link or anything like that, because every time I make a video, um, people tell me that they can't find the link, or it's broken, or it doesn't work anymore, so if you want to do this, just send me a message, not a comment, you can comment if you want, but send me a message on YouTube, and I will send you back a link that I know works, and so that way everybody's happy and nobody has any issues. But the things you will need, first of all, you're going to need the ROM, um, you can use any um, EXT4 ROM. Um, my favorite one that is ridiculous and just awesome is Syndicate uh, FRO110, and I use Fully Loaded. And if you download this, just put it on the root of your SD card, not in any file. Just open up your SD card and put it straight on uh, Samsung Galaxy S drivers. You're going to need, depending on what your system is, if you're a 64-bit system, you can use either the 32 or the 64-bit. If you're a 32-bit system, you can only use the 32-bit. Alright, you're going to need that. You're going to need the one-click root CWM3. That's Clockwork Mod 3. And the version of Clockwork Mod is 3.0.0.6, I believe. That's the newest version. Once you installed the one-click root, just tell it to save it to your desktop. Once you save it to your desktop, just right click it and go to extract files. Once you did that, a box will pop up and just blah blah blah, push OK. And that will give you this right here. Now open that up, make sure your phone is in USB debugging mode. Run the run.bat. Just double click the thing that says run and it is a Windows batch file. So I'll double click that, and that'll bring up this. Do make sure your phone is in USB debugging mode. Um, make sure it's plugged in. Make sure you have the drivers installed correctly. Make sure there was no errors. Make sure everything worked. And push enter. And, or push any key to continue. Once you push any key, a bunch of crap will come down the screen. Blah, 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 blah. And um, it'll pretty much do everything by itself. That's why it's called the one-click root. After that's done, your phone will reboot itself, um, and it'll automatically convert from RFS to EXT4, 
Um, it takes a while. Make sure you got a good like 50-60% battery because your battery is not going to be sweet. Once you have pushed enter and everything works and successfully, your phone will turn itself off. It will reboot itself. Everything will automatically um, reformat from RFS to EXT4. The process takes the process takes a while. It takes like probably like took like 10 minutes for me. Um, once the process is done, your uh, if uh, you your your phone will either restart itself. Oh, uh, it's it's early, so bear with me. I'm pretty damn tired right now. Um, your phone will reboot itself. If it does not boot itself, then turn it off. Um, as soon as it's done, turn it off. Um, when it's done with the root, turn it off. And then hold down your volume down button, your camera button, and your power button. And then it'll turn, it'll boot back up. Um, the directions say that it will give you a the new clockwork screen with orange text. Mine had white text until I was done with the process I'm about to tell you. Um, but then it had orange text and now it does have orange text. Um, once you get into clockwork, then it's going to convert your file system from RFS to XT4. It's going to take a long ass time. Um, once it is completely, um, completely done and good, um, my phone rebooted itself when I was done with that and I had to turn it back off. And then, after that, go back into clockwork, hold down volume down, camera and power, and then it'll bring you back into clockwork, and then go to wipe data, factory reset. You're going to tell it, yes, you have to factory reset it. That will delete everything off of your phone, um, but all your important stuff is saved on your SD card. Um, uh, so, you have to tell it, yes. Make sure you do this three times. That's three. This way. One, two... Three. three times. Do that three times. You have to do it three times just to make sure everything is completely wiped because you're putting a whole brand new different system that's faster and more efficient. So you're gonna you have to make sure everything is completely wiped and fresh. Um Alright, when you're done with that, go to wipe cache partition and then say yes, you wanna do it, you gotta go like scroll down, hit the volume button, scroll down. Oh, by the way, you gotta push the camera button, or the, yeah, the camera button in order to push yes. Um, so scroll down using the, up and down using volume, and then OK is the camera button. Uh, make sure you do that three times too. Wipe the cache, the cache partition three times. And then go to advanced and go to wipe Delvic cache. Delvic, D-A-L-V-I-K, cache. Do that three times as well. Alright, now, before you reboot, Go to install zip from SD card. Um, you don't need to name your uh, the syndicate ROM update.zip. You can, but I didn't. Because um, the cool thing about Clockwork is you can just pick what file you want to update from. You don't have to name it update.zip and then get confused with uh, Windows file system renamings and all that crap. Um, and then tell it to install. Just uh, once that's done installing. Uh, it's gonna flash the new ROM, and um, you reboot it, and you now have a badass phone. Alright, now for the battery life. Uh, make sure your phone is 100% completely charged. It has to be. Um, charge it up 100%. Even if, if it says it's fully charged, unplug it and then plug it back in. And then it'll give you like 5-10 minutes and then where it's gonna be charging again. Then it'll say it's uncharged. And then unplug it and plug it back in. And then do that three times. Uh, make sure it's completely charged as much as it can possibly be. Make sure your icon says 100%. Immediately turn it off um, while it's plugged in. And then let that charge until your light turns blue. Um, once it turns blue and it has 100% battery charged from while it's powered off, um, go back into clockwork recovery, hold down volume down, uh, camera, and power. And then go to advanced and go to clear battery stats. And then scroll down to yes and push yes. And then, um, then reboot the phone. 
Um, now, what that does is it's erasing the phone's memory about how your battery performs because obviously if you're getting garbage battery like I was, then it's not performing very well. So you want to get rid of those files and have it start fresh with a clean system, different file format, everything different. Um, and then just try to use your phone as little as possible. Um, it's it's going to take forever for your battery to die, but when it finally does, turn your phone back on and now your phone is good. It remembers you have a badass battery with a badass file system and all that and everything is running extremely efficient and cost effective. And there you go. You now have a ridiculously badass ROM. Any questions or comments, feel free. Feel free to rate, subscribe, do your thing. See you.